Okay, the first thing, I have some notes on stuff from the last video. Um, in the previous video, uh, there was a author called Mugen Gamer, and he released a stage called Wakfu Village, which I highlighted that had a problem at the top of the screen when you zoomed, even though he was trying to release it for 1.1. At the time, I also looked at his World Mementos from Persona 5 stage, and I didn't realize that if you zoom into this stage, also the top of the screen just completely has dead space all at the top. So even though he's trying to make 1.1 versions, they aren't actually working right. Also on this stage called Stultifera Navis. There was a blurry pillar at the left of the screen. And I was worried if I removed that pillar, there might be just like um, some like fucked up screen hiding behind it. But no, it's fine. If you remove the pillar, it's it looks just fine without it. So I, I'm happy that that's the case. It's not really worthy of a stage surgery release. All I did was like uh, tell one of the animation layers in the stage I disabled it, and this pillar goes away. If you're gonna go into your stage and do it yourself, all you have to do is find the like. Um, the furthest down animation element, and then just, you know, disable that. Oh, God, I... Oh, I forgot the name of the key on the keyboard. <laughs> it's like the colon key? The, the semicolon key that you do to disable things? Uh, I'm having a brain fart, but yeah, just disable that. Stage looks just fine without it. Okay, and also in the last video, there was a stage called Lotalon or late lawn, and it had an error that I didn't notice the first time around. Now everything looks fine on the surface, you can walk and make the zoom come out, everything looks fine. However, if anybody gets like uppercutted really hard, watch the top of the screen. There's dead space up there, and also, like, I'm afraid to remove it because, like, there's definitely extra detail hiding in the dead space, too. Like, if you look at that tower, you can only see part of the tower in the dead space. But, uh, maybe I can fix that just by, like, stopping the houses from rising? Like, if I just remove their, like, probably, uh, their vertica delta or something when the zoom happens, maybe I can still, like, keep the top or all the detail, but just, like, lowering the houses. Yeah, there might be a stage surgery trying to fix this one, I'm not sure. Okay, first of the new stages. This is M&M's Factory. And... It is super low detail, and there's nothing that I can see that really, um... identifies it as being M&M's themed. Like, is this supposed to be like an M&M's logo here, just kind of cut off? Like, that's the closest thing I see. Like, it doesn't slide or anything. Let me... You can't break the stage by uppercutting. Like, it's super basic, though, and you wouldn't even know that it's supposed to be M&M's themed. This is Digimon Survive from Digimon Survive. It's by Mugen Gamer. It's, I downloaded the 1.1 version, and it's really pretty, and... It doesn't slide or anything, but just like all his other 1.1 attempts, as soon as you try to zoom, the stage breaks. Like, this forward ridge off here, it's just totally cut off. So, yeah. He's actually trying to make 1.1 versions for all his stages, but he, he must not be realizing that they're all messed up. Which is a damn shame, because this looks great otherwise. Like, I want to keep this. This is Galtai from Arknights. And... It looks pretty nice. See? There's no, that doesn't break the stage or anything, there's no sliding. And it's a pretty nice cityscape background, and I will definitely be keeping it. Phantom of the Server released two uh, chess battle stage, a regular version and a zoom version. 
They're both from Shining Force 2. And I wasn't really doubting that Phantom of the Server was going to release a good stage, but I really like this. Yeah, uh, this, I like this a lot. And the stage goes pretty high. It goes even higher in the next version. Okay, that's that version. Now, when there's a zoom alternate, I almost always go with the zoom alternate because you can see more. And if you uppercut them on this version, like, you can see if, like, their bookshelf goes pretty damn high. And while there is technically black up there, I think that's, like, supposed to be there. Because it doesn't clash with anything. Like, you see the top layer of the books if you pay super close attention. Yeah, this is great. I'll absolutely be keeping this. Next up, we have Chaos Tower from Chaos Faction 2. And we got sprite problems. Okay, like, if you got good enough resolution, you can clearly see it. See these little, like, uh, asteroid pieces in the background? How they have, they have these blue dots? That's because, like, uh, whoever ripped this uh, rock probably had a light blue background and they didn't rip it right. So, yeah, um, the same thing goes for these, like, um, these pads in the background. They have, like, dots and stuff that probably should have been clipped off or trimmed. Right here on the edges here. Yeah, so that needs to be shaved off. Yeah, god, there's these little blue dots. They're everywhere. He didn't rip this right. And there's these green dots here that, you know, don't match the color. You gotta take your time and clean up the little pixel art. I mean, otherwise the stage is, you know, it seems to be okay. Let me uppercut. Yeah, there's no black space hidden up there. It doesn't seem to be. But oh man, those sprite errors. You gotta clean that up before release, man. This is QT stage from Friday Night Funkin'. And... First off, I'm pretty sure there's sliding issues. You can see that like little mark on the floor under Hinata is just totally moving. And the TV has some errors on it. Like, I think there's a transparency dot here. Like, on the bottom of the TV. And it's back here too on this line. Yeah, so I assume he had like a... I don't know. It's a weird place for there to be a dot too, unless he had a black transparency that was close enough when he was uh, making the transparency color. Yeah, like, maybe the natural version has this error, but it's so weird looking. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, one of these fucking flash line errors where lines collide and then there's like a little notch for no fucking reason. Yeah, flash is an asshole. And this stage isn't bad if you, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of simple, but it's fine. I don't know who QT is, but if I had a QT, maybe I'd like absolutely want to keep this QT stage just for completion's sake. Next up, we have a small batch of Sparkster stages, or you know, the Rocket Knight from like the Genesis era, and they're mostly good. So this is the first one, and. When I first saw this stage, I'm like, what are you doing, man? Having most of the stage be with you have a transparent object in the foreground. And then I was thinking, if I made this stage, I would just use this screen right here as the stage. And the guy who made this must have had the same thought because his alternates are basically, um, basically this screen alone as the stage. And the previous screen as its, or the previous like half of the stage, as its own stage. So he must have been thinking the same thing. Like, 
<laughs> yeah, like this is the other half from the first version. Just now they're walking behind these uh, fucking tubas, which I assume that's what it is. It's like some kind of weird tuba, or maybe it's like a I don't know. I don't know all my uh, fucking instruments. Maybe it's like a type of horn that has all these ridges on it. That's neither here nor there. I wonder if uh, Rocket Knight himself is in this stage walks behind these things, because if he does, then that's absolutely how I would have adapted it, instead of, um, you know, maybe walking in front of the tubas by walking on this piece of ground right here. I don't know, though. I haven't played it. Well, I've played it, but I haven't fucking played it in fucking, like, 20 or more years. So, um... Anyway, I'll be keeping the uh, last two of these. They're kind of simple, but, um, or, well, this one is, but... I like them well enough. I, I will be keeping the Sparkster Sages. Next up we have SCP Containment Breach. I'm not sure this is even from a game. Like, obviously I know about the SCP basically like creepypasta database that anybody can add to. But is this from an, like an indie game or a Steam game or something? Or is this just like SCP fan art that's in the wrong section? But yeah, uh, there's sliding issues with the floor. And there's no ceiling problems, it's just mainly a sliding issue with the floor. I guess if you got some uh, creepy pasta monsters, you could put them in here. Next up, we have another SCP stage. And you're in the middle of a morgue here, and there's no sliding issues. I like it well enough, I'll be keeping it. I do notice this weird brown line over here that could just be some kind of a fucking error. Like, yeah, this looks like a Flash error, even though this doesn't look like it was made in Flash. Where if you had like a, in Flash, if you had a, like a straight brown line over here on the edge, when it near the other colors, it'll just have some kind of fucking bullshit overlap fuzz, even if the line was supposed to be completely straight. Uh, yeah, that's the only mistake I see, and even if that really bothered me, which it doesn't, all I would have to do is make the camera brown, like, one pixel less. Next up, we have another stage from Sparkster, the Steelworks. And there is no problems. This stage goes pretty far, um left and right and there's decent like above the stage space yeah I like this it's pretty detailed I mean yeah people might hate foreground objects like that pipe but I mean they're not really that large I don't think they'll be fucking up your fight that much yeah I like this I'll be keeping this Next, we have Mount Chiliad Peak from Grand Theft Auto. It looks pretty basic. I'm gonna assume this is from San Andreas and not uh, GTA 5, but I, it doesn't say on the um, you can archive, but... It's uh, pretty simple. I mean, it's, I don't think there's any problems. Like, there's no sliding. If I got, like, a better res picture, I, this would probably get out modded, but I guess it gets to stay for now. Next up, we have Towers of Doom from Heroes of the Storm, and this stage has issues. Okay. Like, I don't think this is a 1.1, or 1.0 to 1.1 problem. This stage looks like it's literally just, like, a picture, and that was never meant to be a stage, because... There's not even walking room down there that I see. It's like... Yeah, like, I'd be walking in the pumpkin still, even if I could uh, walk down there. There's also, like, clearly some kind of, like, error across the side here on the edge. That could be just trimmed off. But since there's no walking room on the bottom, it just very much looks like you're just walking on a picture. A picture with JPEG damage all over it even yeah i won't be keeping this 
It just, just doesn't work as a stage. Yeah, like, if I had the... I'm like, you... If, if I was going to make this, you'd have to walk, in, like, from the back of, front of this pumpkin to, like, over here to the other... Like, the beginning of this tree root or something, because that would be the only right stage that wouldn't look odd for you to be walking on it. And then you'd be, like, missing giant chunks of the stage anyway. Uh, I wouldn't be... I'm not keeping this. Okay, next up we have a set of Saliva Island stages from Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. And... Yeah, th this looks fine. I know there's a Zoom version about to happen, so that'll probably be the version I'm keeping. Yeah, plenty of upward space. Okay, here we have the Zoom version of Saliva Island. You can see way much more. I like it quite a lot. And here's the widescreen Zoom version, and... I like... If I could indulge in good widescreen without it being fucked up in some other way, I'll absolutely go with that take. So yeah, this will be the version I keep. Yeah, this looks really nice. Yeah, I wish, like, whoever made this, like, makes a lot of Shantae stages that look, could be this quality, but I know it's probably not that easy. Here we have Top Gear Rio de Janeiro from Top Gear. And this stage amuses me. Makes me think of that, uh, Dead or Alive stage where, like, you could kick people into cars. Which I always thought was fucking hilarious. But yeah, there's no problems that I can notice. Just watch all these cars drive by. There's like a Mario Kart stage that's just like this. But yeah, I'll be keeping this, definitely. Okay, this stage is from an NES game called Euphoria. And while simple, there's nothing wrong with it, and I see no reason not to keep it. I, I like it. The extra animations in the background help a lot. Like, if that little guy wasn't running by and the other things flying by and shit, the stage would probably like rank a lot less than my like likability, but I love those little loving touches. So yeah, that's... yeah, I'll be keeping this. Uh, here we have Science Lab from Friday Night Funkin'. Uh, on Mugen Archive it's also listed as, like, Cartoon Network Invasion. And we have these Cartoon Network characters, like, glitching the fuck out. Like, my, there is no, uh, foresighting or anything. My only issue is, once again, like, a scaling problem where I look, you know, tiny compared to, like, Finn the Human, who's only supposed to be, like, a boy. So, I, I don't know if there's even, like, room enough to bulk the stage to really like, accommodate making the characters bigger. Because if I was, like, the correct size compared to Finn the Human, I'd practically, my head would be touching the top of the screen regardless. It's not horrible. I, I'll probably keep it for now. But, uh... Ideally, maybe, like, like someone could make... Like, a little bit extra room above the stage and scale this up. Maybe I'll do that, I don't know. Here we have Gang Street, the updated version. And, I don't know what this is from, but... From the looks of it, I'm thinking Double Dragon. Like, I don't know, it doesn't say on Hugo Archive, but this art style certainly reminds me of Double Dragon. Yeah, there's no floor sliding issues that I can see. Looks like the top of the stage doesn't break. Like, it's fine enough, but it also looks like weirdly ripped because, um, let's say, uh, if this is an NES stage, like, these should match, like, completely. And it looks like the bricks are, um, 
I don't know. They're just like a little off my little instead of being copy pasted. I mean, that could happen, I guess. But yeah, like an NES game, things tend to be like completely uniform. So I don't know. It gets to stay for now. Next up, we have a set of Hollow Knight stages by Hexacat. And every last one of them doesn't work in 1.1. Okay, we got Teacher Archives. Like, they're all pretty uh, sharp looking too, but you can see like the border on the left here is just gone. On the right, yeah, it's... Everything is like shrunk more than it should be. Got White Palace here. Same deal. The sides are busted. We got City of Tears. Same issues as the last. The sides are busted. And I'm pretty sure the ceiling is busted too. Yep, it's busted. Birthplace. Same deal, sides are busted. I don't even have to knock them out so I can see the sky, the sky is also busted. Without even knocking anybody into the sky. Dirt mouth. Or... Same deal. Like, I want to keep all of these. Because they look really nice. But yeah, the sky is busted. Oh, it's zoomed. It's even extra busted. Um, yeah. Yeah, like, this isn't really on the author if these all work in a 1.0. But it, it's just a damn shame there's not 1.1 versions for me. Because I think they all look pretty great. This is Pure Vessel. Sides are busted. Yep. Okay, this is the Grim stage. And the sides are busted. He also, on this uh, Mugen Archive, released a beta stage of Grim. And this is kind of funny just how bad it's busted in 1.1. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at this. I have no idea what's like actually supposed to be here. I assume it's supposed to look like the other stage that I just looked at, but this is pretty funny. Unplayable! <laughs> so yeah, I can't repair this. Would know where to begin. Here we have Auckland from Top Gear 2. And I think it's a pretty nice stage, but uh, once again, there's, there's like the scaling issue. Like, by the time Kung Fu Man walked to that car, he would still be gigantic next to that car. But I don't see any sliding issues. Or if there are, it's super minor. It's not really that noticeable. Parallax floors are kind of hard to deal with. But yeah, I like this. But, uh, yeah, I feel like it would be even better if, like, the characters... If these race cars didn't look like toy cars. Next up is Shibuya Cho's Terminal. I think it's from Jet Set Radio. And... Oh, this song. And this stage is bringing back the nostalgia. From some game I haven't played in over 20 years, probably. Yeah, I'll be keeping this. I have a soft spot for it, regardless. <laughs> okay, next up we have a whole set of stages by Shinchan28. They're all from Amori. And most of them are problematic. Okay, first off we have this white space stage. And... It's clearly a JPEG rip. I can see the fuzz around what should be straight pixelated characters up there in the background. Like, yeah, I see fuzz around the characters. And as far as the stages go, this this is just a picture. This is a very 
like minimalist stage. Now, in the first video, I said if like there was stages that were basically the same from two different creators, I was gonna extra highlight them. Well, yeah, take a good look at this stage. Now, here's the white space stage from the previous video, which I already got. And yeah, this like absolutely wins over the one I just showed you. Because this at least looks like it's trying to be a stage. And there's no pix or no JPEG fuzz, everything looks fine on this version. So out of those two white space stages, go with this one. We got unbred twin stage from Amori. And it's just a picture of fire. This is about as simple as it gets. And I won't be keeping this. I, I like my stages to not just be a picture that you're walking on. The only way I would make an exception is if you're in a, like it was an official fighting game, and this like literally was their stage in that official fighting game. But otherwise, no, I'm not going to be walking on pictures to fight people. This is the sweetheart stage from Amori, but I can't show it to you because it crashes Mugen. And I tried it a few times just in case it was some kind of fluke, but no, it definitely just crashes Mugen if you try to run this stage. So I can't give any real comments on this one. Then we have Sweetheart's Castle stage, not to be confused with the one that doesn't work. And at least this looks like a stage, even if it's some kind of weird... Yeah, this art style makes me think of like old school adventure games, because it has that weird like dot dot arts to make different shades uh, like I could maybe see this work for the right type of character it gets to stay for now probably the only one that's gonna get to stay Captain Space Boy boss fight stage from Amori and it's like a giant spark or something I don't know like this is the same problem as the fire stage it just looks like I'm walking on a picture Got Slime Boss stage from Amori. Yeah, once again, I'm just walking on a picture, and even if I. <laughs> it, like, I should be walking on the ground, but there's no ground. There's just these, like, terminals and stuff in, like, a doctor's lab or something. <laughs> yeah, like. This doesn't work as a stage for me. It absolutely looks like I'm just walking on somebody's, like, weird art of a doctor's lab. We've got the Pluto boss fight stage from Amori. And it's very similar to that Captain Space Boy, except this one looks a little bit more like Galaxy instead of a blue spark. And yeah, I'm not keeping this, just walking on a picture. We've got Perfect Heart boss fight stage from Amori. At least this one looks crisp. Instead of that weird, like, uh, 90s DOS game art, but... Yeah... It's just a picture of the sky. Probably for some, like, angel character or something. Okay, we have the regular boss fight stage from Amori. And... Well, the idea of, like, fighting on top of the slot machines is kind of funny to me. Like, if my characters were moved out and just walking on a weird angle of a slot machine, that might be pretty amusing. Uh, it's just obviously a picture that I'm walking on. I will not be keeping this. Okay, we have Menu Background from Friday Night Funkin' and... Picture Syndrome again! Yeah, it's just a picture. I mean, I'm... at least it doesn't slide, but I mean, I can't just be keeping pictures, man. Next we have Bioshock from Bioshock, uh, 1959 stage, and this stage looks really crisp. I just can't help but, like, notice the scale problem. Like, my characters need to be bigger, because the way they currently are is probably the same height they'd be if they were behind that counter. Like, naturally. Instead of in front of it. 
I mean, I really like the look of the stage, though. I might be doing sage surgery on this. This is Pursuit Down the Waterfall from Contra DS. And <laughs> I, I don't want to call this stage simple because I'm pretty sure it's like would have to take some work to make this all function right. But uh, yeah, I like it. Just need to get some pulse pounding music and put it in here. And it'd really work. Uh, yeah, I'll be keeping this. Next up, we have Mammoth Fortress from Brawlhalla, and I really like the look of this. Like, this looks really nice to me. Like, super crisp. I don't think there's any sliding error. Yeah, there's definitely not sliding errors. <laughs> you know, I getting our feet burned off. Yeah. Obviously, we can't go all the way to the left or right, or we'd fall off the island, so that's fine. Even if there's, like, dead space to the left and right. But yeah, that doesn't bother me. This looks really nice. I will absolutely be keeping this. Next up, we have another Jet Set Radio stage. Kogani Cho, residential area. And I like this stage, but I can't help but feel there's, like, once again, a scale problem. Like, I just, like, imagine somebody standing... Like, if I walked into the background to stand next to this house's window, that I'd be super tiny by the time I got there. I know I'm constantly sweating this whole stuff, but I mean, I just can't help but notice. But yeah, this will be staying. I'm gonna get out of here before I get copyright strikes. Next up, we have Dr. Ananas Rage. It's based on the Earthbound Halloween hack. And normally, I would not keep a stage like this. Like, let's say that you made a, uh, like, a Street Fighter edit stage and you put this big like dark red glare on it i would probably not keep it just on the fact that um the, the, the dark red glare just kind of looks bad to me but this one gets to stay for now yeah there's no problems that i see next up we have a friday night funkin stage called sunky's party because it rules and it's probably alexander cooper again and there's no real problems outside of maybe the scaling issue. Like, I don't know how much big this fucking little kid with the mic is actually supposed to be, but... Considering he looks like he's fucking, like, 10 or less, you'd think Kung Fu may be, like, towering over him. But I don't see any problems with the stage, it's fine. Okay, this is the Blimp Stage from Spy Fox, which is a, uh, like, a child, uh, adventure game. And I immediately knew there was going to be problems before I even booted this up. One. It is absolutely you walking on a picture. Like, even if, like, I moved it up just a little so they were walking. They're probably super big compared to it, too. But, um, yeah, totally just walking into this gear here. There's not much room to walk if I was going to move their Z offset up. And I don't know how like well it would come off looking regardless. Uh, this just doesn't work. Another Friday Night Funkin' stage called Ooh, Funkin' Time. And <laughs> once again, this scaling issue. Like, Finn the Human is fucking gigantic next to me. I mean, I like it otherwise. It's nice and crisp. Next up, we have a bunch of Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja stages. From some arcade game I've never heard of. And in 1.1, like, there's lots of problems with this stage. As you can see, I'm standing on a void. Like, I'm guessing he tiled this floor. Which I think is what's causing the error now that I know that. But, uh... Yeah, there's a lot to like about the stage if it was working properly. I don't think there's sliding. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be sliding. It's just that the floor is completely busted. In 1.1.
Now this stage works fine in 1.1. I do wonder about like the floor, like am I s supposed to be walking on this? Or am I supposed to be up a few on a Z offset? That's what happens when your floor doesn't have the illusion of a parallax. It just kind of looks like you're walking on a wall. But uh, otherwise I think this stage is pretty good. Okay, another one here. This time we're fighting in the sewer. And it seems to work perfectly. <laughs> if I was fighting in a sewer and you tripped me, and I fell into the fucking sludge, I would just quit the fight. I'd be like, fuck this, I, I quit. You win, I go home. I, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't, I don't want to even, like, exist anymore. But yeah, this just looks fine. And we have this fourth stage, and once again, the floor is busted. You can see I'm just walking out onto a void here. Also, the left bound is weird. Look how much, like, extra space he has to walk left, and he's just not allowed to. Yeah, same thing on the right side. Why is it programmed that way? Weird. But yeah, if I could fix the floor... I'm not sure I can, though. I don't know how to do parallax floors. That's like a weak spot of mine. Here we have Strike Force Kitty Free Tittle Screen. <laughs> that's, that's funny. But uh, it's super basic, and it kind of seems like, since there's no like obvious floor, it looks like I'm walking on a picture. If you go to the top, you can see little characters up there on top of the screen. But uh, yeah, this super reeks of just being in a picture. Next up we have Meat Static. It's based on some kind of Vine Sauce Mario ROM hack. And it's weird, but it's not broken. And I have no real complaints. Like, I'm not gonna dismiss it just because it's weird. That doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, it's giving off a nice what the fuck vibe, which I think is what it's going for. I'll be keeping this. And that's the last one for this video.